Healers are gonna die. Queen's stuck on a Lava Hound. Town Hall's not going down yet. Does he have to rage the Yetis? Oh no. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the quarterfinals matchup in the playoffs of the Amber Cup. We got Chaz Mac EA taking on MS Esports today. Let's see who's gonna win and who's gonna go home. We got Yada in with the first attack here with a little Queen Walk. Recall. Electro Dragon action. Okay. Queen on the bottom side. Put some storages here. Set the funnel. Taking on everything on this corner of the base. Do wall break to give her access to the scatter shot. Question is, does she path in there perfectly without getting distracted by the king? He's gonna use the invisibility spell to make sure. I have to use the freeze. Skelly trap's a little annoying, but we'll be able to get through everything now. Nicely done from Yada. Now goes the unicorn rip. Now we can recall whenever he's ready. Oh, but drop her again on the nine o'clock side of the base. Cool. Then we're gonna see E drag straight into the town hall, I think. With the bat spell to help distract. Here we go. Warden with the Phoenix. Cool. Plenty of time on the clock for now. Here we go. Wall break on the other side. Queen has access to the second scat. Holding that Warden ability. Holding that Warden ability. Pops it now as we are going to be able to take out the town hall. The archers have the clan castle. Here comes some more though. Tornado trap. No, no tornado trap yet. Blade stone slammer. Okay. Queen went to ability for some reason. Next rage, and we invest the poison on the enemy champ. Warden goes to ability. Warden on one HP. Warden gonna die. Phoenix can help us out. We clear that CC building though before Lava Hound comes out for Ice Golem. King with Frosty on the right side. We're not gonna get that CC building. The Phoenix is low. Oh, there's a Super Dragon. You will get the CC building. Okay, that's clutch. The queen's gonna die, but we're gonna use the champion in such a way that the healers switch right off to her. Sure, but these expos are doing so much damage. Super dragon dies. Healers are getting hit pretty hard. I don't think it's looking great for Yada here. These expos, these multis staying up. I think he can stun. Hold on. King needs to distract the other expo. Rip. Camping is targeted by that one too. 16, 15 seconds. And he's not going to be able to pull through these last few defenses. Rip, Mr. Yada. Not going to be able to make it work. This multi expo stay up. Kill everything. It's going to be a 94% to open the map. Tryhard is in with the first attack for MSC Sports on this one. Got the Queen Charge recall, but instead of the E drags, he's bringing the super drags. Finally, gonna start dropping stuff. Wasted a few seconds there. Queen with healers. He wants to get the scatter shot and the enemy queen and then recall. That rage felt late. It was late. Rip your queen ability, dude. Awkward. Queen will go inside. We'll take the scatter. We lost the unicorn. Might as well drop the last healer. Or not. Boom. There's the recall. And then you drop her. All that just to re-drop her right there? I mean, you could have just used an invis spell to force her that way instead of a recall. What the... Felt kind of swag. Queen getting targeted by the Warden statue. She's gonna get targeted by the Monolith. Might need a freeze spell here to help her out. And we do just in time. <coughs> Coco Loon pulls the poison tower. That's actually OP. For OP. She get this Monolith before switching targets. No, that's awkward. Gonna cost another free spell. King on the outside. Still has that one healer. He forgot to deploy it. The 
the extra healer as he loses the healer. Gonna have to use another spell if he wants the town hall. Super drags in on the left. Battle drill deployed. Free spell. Alright. There's King ability. Rage for the Super Dragons. Warden ability to keep them invincible for now. Expo's lock onto the Queen. She gets bamboozled, but she also pulled the CC troops. Word. Campaign's in on the left side of the base. This dragon should have been in just a few seconds earlier to get the CC building before Queen pulled all the troops. Now the Hound goes to the champion, gonna cause all sorts of problems. Like, does he actually still triple this though? Got a poison spell. He's still got five super dragons alive. They're gonna take the scatter shot. Oh my gosh, he still triples. He still triples, guys. No more spells, but he's got champion ability. There's no more base left. Wow, what a plan. The plan was too good. He's 20 seconds. Skelly traps distract. Boom. RC ability. 98%. 99. And 100. Wow. It's a three star for Tryhard and MS Esports with the early lead. Pihawa is in with some Lalo. With some clone spells. Alright. Pop that warden ability for the battle bloom soaring for the town hall chamber. Cool. Minions. Double clone. Lots of crap. Invisibility spells. They expect to get the town hall because the minions might not be close enough to get it. Awkward. Very awkward. Town hall stayed up. He didn't get the right side multi. He didn't get the monolith. Didn't even get the rage tower gonna sneaky the town hall okay sure. invisibility town hall secured queen king on the right side of the base sure the apprentice warden I like it Let's see how much value they can get goes inside toward the eagle the queen does as well the wall break we give him access to the upper multi yes Duck. champion toward the lower expo diggy to stun it play traps gonna be so awkward tornado trap spinning her around as well king queen getting frozen over and over and over again being already dead princess ward gets locked onto rc goes to ability so early to start with Lalo though. There's gonna be a raged up scatter shot here. Oh gosh, it's gonna be devastating. RC doesn't clear the monolith in the core. Queen goes to ability. She's struggling just to get the multi because the skelly trap's distracting. We've had a Valkyrie or an E Titan in there helping. Big rip. He was able to kill the enemy queen. But look at this raged up scatter. It goes down, but it killed almost all of the balloons. Rip. Big rip. Giant archer from the left side of the base, but another defense for MS Esports. This one doesn't get amazing percent. 76, I think, is all he's going to get. Does the minions have time for another storage? I don't think. Synthi is in. With Lalo, with 10 lightning spells. Let's go. All right. See what he can do here. Got to be going for the eagle, right? Probably. Oh, he actually could be going for both multis. Let's see what he does. He is going for both multis. Nice. Able to take out a rage tower with it and some builder huts and both sweepers. Pretty high value zap area. King on the right side for the scatter shot. The enemy queen, the queen on the bottom side to walk all the way for the town hall, maybe? No. We got 10 sneakies for the town hall. He just needs queen to get the storages and everything else. King ability going off. Oh, he's also going to pull CC troops. Could get spicy. Decides to use the poison. 
Why doesn't King go for the one archer he can reach? There he goes. Bane pops ability, trying to snipe some of those defenses. First test sneakies in. Queen goes down. Here go the rest of the sneakies. Invisibility. Ooh, it felt a little late, but he gets it. Down hall goes down. All right. He was able to kill all the CC troops with his poison. He's got zero spell support left, so he's gonna pop the ward ability right away on this Lalo. Headhunters for the champion take her out. More balloons on the left side. Don't slam her from the right side. Sure. Where did he use his champion? Am I crazy? Champion in there, in there early. Where was champion? I do feel crazy right now. He did use her on the right side. There she is dead. Okay. He tried to get her in there over there for the multi, but she died pretty early. But it doesn't matter because this Lalo crushed the base. Look at that. The zero spell Lalo still gets it done the way he deploys it. Is Lava Hound still alive at the end? Wow. How about that? Able to absolutely wreck this base. And MS Esports are going to be two for two against Chaz Mac EA. Got plenty of time to get through all these storages. Cynthia with Lalo. Pretty good. Good. GG's. For these last couple storages. And now big pressure on Chaz Mac EA who have to start tripling them. Kuma is in with the next attack. For Chaz Mac EA. Little zappy zappy action. Gets an expo, gets an inferno tower right away. Cool. Got one ice hound to help this Lalo. Interesting. Start with the hero dive on the bottom side of the base. King going to go toward the eagle. The queen forcing him inside. Cool. Hog launcher going for another multi, another expo. Sure. The ability. Hog launcher. Busting open some walls. A little tornado trap there. Log launcher gets targeted. It takes out the multi. Getty should be able to help get a couple more defenses as well. Queen going toward the scatter. I think that skeleton spell was a little late. Hopefully Queen doesn't lock onto the hound here. Oh, she does. We don't have an invisibility. Queen not going to get the scatter. That is unfortunate. He's going to have to send champion there. The ice goal not going to do anything really. Headhunters and we start the Lalo. The Yeti Mites did take out. The, it, the third Inferno Tower, though, that's kind of clutch. The Log Launcher also pre-triggered whatever this was. Oh, the Poison Tower, that's beautiful. Queen goes to Ability, gets the last Expo over there. Now we just gotta Lalo through the Town Hall. This is actually looking pretty decent. Town Hall about to wake up. We got free spells for days, though. We're gonna send a Headhunter. Get Champion in the Warden Ability, that's kind of clutch. Can we get past the Giga Poison, though? I don't think the Rage Spell was placed perfectly. He might lose all these balloons. Oh, that's so rough. The Rage was slightly off. But he's got extra balloons for backup. He's going to haste, freeze his way through the scatter shot. He still is going to be able to get through it. What a plan from Kuma. That was actually a top tier plan right there. Pretty much the same way Stars does his... Uh, pretty similar. How Stars does his zap. Log launcher, Sui Lalos. Hi. Plenty of time left over for cleanup. This base is clapped. Chaz Mac EA finally on the board with a three star attack. Nicely done right there. Amwaline. Queen charge. Recall. Aug rider action. I'm all about it. Queen toward the Eagle Artillery. Then we'll be able to recall her, I guess. Cool. Rage Tower goes off early because of the Coco Balloon. That's going to cost him a Rage Spell. Expo doing double damage. One Hog Rider trying to 1v1 the Wizard Tower. And pretty much works. Nice. Very nice. We let Queen get another Expo and maybe even the Rage Tower before we recall. Do we let her pick up that Rage Tower? Yes, I like that. Get rid of that rage tower. We don't have to worry about it later. Then recall her the heck out of there. Drop her at 3 o'clock. Now I think we want her to go take out the town hall. 
cool. Ice Golem, King, Headhunter, Wizard. Wait. If King can clear the scatter shot and expo. He doesn't even have to get the expo. Queen can reach it. And pull CC troops. Oh, this is gonna be such a good setup. It's gonna be such a good plan, man. The king might not go in for the scatter shot. Well, he doesn't want him to? What the? The battle drills for the scatter shot. Okay. King's still gonna come back around though, even with that invis. That's awkward. Kind of a waste of an invis. Here comes CC troops. Oh, the healers get targeted. Oh gosh, this timing is actually awful. He doesn't have the invis to save healers. Guys, this might be awful. Really awful. Healers are gonna die. Queen's stuck on a lava hound. Town hall's not going down yet. Does he have to rage the yetis? Oh no. Pops queen ability. What is she shooting? Okay, she's shooting the town hall. Woo! She gets it. Warren ability on the left. Piggies are in. Where's this champion? Champion was in on the bottom multi. Swooping to the left multi. Hog rider skipping the scatter shot. Champion has ability. There's a big old Tesla farm over here by the Barbarian King, though. Oh, he's trying to save it. Can he? He's gonna drop all the balloons for some of these Teslas. Diggy died, but we get through the scatter shot. We get through the expo. It's so close, but he doesn't get it. Rip, Amu Aline. I feel like that plan was so good, but the timing with the Queen fighting the Lava Hound was awful. Absolutely awful while the healers were getting hit. Big yikes. It's really good percent, but it's finally a defense for Chasmac EA, and they might just have a chance to get back in this match now. This one's going to be a 93. Chasmac EA with their fourth attack and a chance to get back in it here if they three-star. Early battle blimp. We're going to see a little hero dive into twin hog action. But first, the early Liz. But all those wizards are dead. Oh, gosh. This is why Blizz is dead, bro. Can't really Blizz anymore. Rip the trap. Yay! Queen E-Titan on the left side of the base. Those wizards got one expo. And the CC pool. That's it. That's it. They were supposed to get the eagle, the monolith. The air defense. Set up the funnel. That's a big rip. Drops the Apprentice Warden straight into the range of the Archer Tower. Did that Apprentice Warden die? Barely, no. Invis spell. Uh, okay. Why does the Apprentice Warden always get in front of the heroes? Rip the Apprentice Warden. King going toward the monolith. We pop his ability. Queen barely going to get the scatter shot in the enemy champion. He tries to invis her. I think he's still going to have to pop ability there anyway. Yeah. Oh gosh, that's a waste of an invis. We have to hog rider into the town hall. Oh, he was expecting his king and queen to get all the way to the town hall. That's why he brought the jump spell. This is about to get sketchy. This is about to get really sketchy. The plan definitely not planning right now. He's trying to pick up percent just so the town hall can be awake by the time he gets there. Yikes. Forty-two percent. Town hall's not awake. Warden ability popped early. He's got no more cleanup wizards. Tornado trap is spinning. Oh, I'm getting nervous. Getting nervous, guys. Town Hall's awake. Can he get the good pathing to it, though? Champion's there. Okay. Woo! Yikes. Question now is percent. Is it going to be super low percent? Yeah, 66, 67, 68, 69. Poggers going to be able to get above 70. He's got the jumping spell here for the Warden. 20 seconds on the clock and get everything on the outside of the base on the top and right side. For a high 70s percent attack, but not more than that. Yikes. Big yikers. Plan did not go to plan. 
poor homie gonna fall short here at 77%. Kingsman with the fourth attack for MS Esports. We get another triple here. That should be enough to pretty much guarantee the win. Let's see if he can do it with the Electro Titan Smash Attack with a couple lightning spells as well. Cool, cool. Warden Walk on the south side of the base. We got the lightning. We got the earthquake. Probably going for a multi and an expo. Guessing this, these two right here. Let's see if I'm right. What are you waiting for with the zap? Flame flingers in. Wake up the zap, homie. There it is. I was right about the spot. Okay. Warden gets pulled. Here we go. Here we go. Sure. Queen, e girls going in. Healers are switching. Flame Flinger can hopefully take out the town hall without getting distracted by the king. Jumping spell has been placed. Do we have anything to support the king? No, not really. No witches on this attack. Queen taking a funny path. She's going to go to the outside. Uh -oh. Off warden ability for the Coco Loons. E girls fighting the Lava Hound. Queen is indeed going to go to the outside here and ignore the Hound, but the E Titans get through the Hound pretty quickly. Another Rage, Ice Bowl Freeze, nice. King still looking somewhat healthy. We get to that Monolith quickly. We pop the King ability. Flame Flinger working on the Town Hall, which is nice. Raged up E Titans trying to get through everything. This Royal Champion hiding behind a wall in the Warden Sniper. Warden snipes her, and then keeps changing targets, and then goes back to her, takes her out. These two E Titans going to work to the outside, join the King and Queen again. Flame Flinger on the Town Hall will be able to, to secure that second star. We got a Champion, we got one more Freeze to use. Only 50 seconds on the clock, though. Decided to send Champion by herself on the left. Valkyrie's out of the Flame Flinger with a delayed Headhunter to take out the King. That'll work. That'll work. I feel like he's got the firepower. Does he have the time to get through everything? He might. Champion on the left. Queen has ability. Champion has ability. One freeze in the pocket whenever he wants to use it. 25 seconds. Valkyrie's going inside, pre-triggering that Rage Tower. We got the free spell for the double damage expo. The double damage multi. Pop that champion ability. Diggy getting the stuns off. That is a clan clash triple for Mr. Kingsman. And MS Esports are looking solid. Win this match. Hades is in. Chasmac EA, you need a four-star attack here to catch up. See if they can do it with the Queen Walk Recall Inferno Baby Dragon. Cool, cool. Queen snipes his first air defense. Sweet. Take out the mortar. Take out the cannon. And recall right away. Drop her on the right side of the base. Okay. Alright. Fully out. Inferno babies from the northeast. Here we go. Here we go with the early battle blimp. With the early warden ability. Boom. There we go. Balloons moving through. Rage Tower making a lot of defenses here. Do double damage. But with the Ad Eternal Tome, everybody's invincible for now. Apprentice Warden with the Queen and the healers. Rage and Freeze over the Town Hall section. And down goes that Town Hall. Another Freeze on the Expo. The Multi. Couple Skeleton spells to help distract this Monolith. Queen on 1 HP. With the Apprentice Warden, who somehow still manages to step in front of the Queen. I really don't get that Apprentice Warden AI. I think it's actually so bad. Second Rage Tower getting triggered here. Lots of Inferno Babies moving through the middle, but we did pull the Ice Forms out of the CC. It's a bit awkward. Queen going to get stalled up on those for a while. King on the bottom side. When do we drop the champion? When do we use the last couple spells? Let's see. King has the Frosty. Frosty does a great job of slowing down some of these defenses. A lot of Inferno Babies still alive on the outside. We're going to see Champion kind of early. Poison the enemy Queen. Skeleton spell to help distract that scatter shot. Freeze the enemy queen as well. Alright. Invest all three spells early right there. Doesn't care if there's skelly traps around the scatter shot. Does four or five inferno babies alive? King on the outside with ability. This should be crushed, right? Not even any skelly traps there. Okay, I had to say something. There's one skelly trap. There could be more over here by the barbarian king as well, but it's looking crushed, man. He's got all three hero abilities. 
Nice hit from Hades. Pops the king ability. Gonna have to pop the champion ability. Queen wrapping around the outside. We might be able to swag her ability. As some of these Inferno babies, the warden is still alive. Doing damage. Got the phoenix with the warden. Not even gonna need the phoenix ability. Delayed headhunter in to help us take out the king. That apprentice warden somehow stayed alive on one HP the whole time. Pop the queen ability for fun. Almost 30 seconds to spare. And finally, another triple. From Chasmac EA. Arium is in. With a lot of electro dragons. Okay. Bat spells to go with this one, too. Hog Rider, Flame Flinger, on the right side of the base. Claw. Skelly Bat Donut. Look at this. Look at this. Once the Monolith, once both multis. Dropping the invis perfectly. Got the right multi, got the Monolith. Gets the left multi as well. Fan. I'm a fan of the man with a plan. Nice job, Arium. Cracks the mortar perfectly. Flame Flinger takes it out. Cool. Lots of rocket balloons on the top right, top left. Already sniped the air defenses. Now two e drags can take the eagle. Cool. I'm not really sure why he used a skeleton spell for the monolith and not just all bats there. I'm not sure. It actually feels slightly more risky that way, the way he did it. But oh well, the plan is working out very well. I'd admit. That scatter shot's gonna drop. Those two e drags on the top side are getting so much value. Nothing even coming out of the CC. It's gotta be like all ice golems. Or hound rocket balloons. Flame Flinger is going to end up getting taken out by the Archer Queen. We're going to E drag from the bottom. Alright. Sure. Off sword ability really, really early here. There's a Rage. There's a King and Queen on the bottom. There's a Freeze for the Town Hall. Able to hit the Expo with it. It's nice. The fire damage from the Flame Flinger already almost took out the Queen. In fact, it, it will. Wow. Invis the E-Drax. Down goes the Town Hall. Queen having to use her ability super early here. Did she get targeted by the Barbarian King? Probably. Awkward. But I mean, this base is crushed, right? There's like literally nothing left. King pops ability. Freeze on the enemy champion. Send our champion from the left side of the base. There could still be CC troops. That might be the awkwardest thing about this attack. But it looks cry. Got a poison spell saved. Super dragon out of that flame flinger putting in work here. Let's see. Goblins, rocket balloons, hound. We're gonna have to fight that, but the RC ability clears almost all the defenses. Super dragon will clear the last two buildings in the core, potentially before we even pop the hound here. Boom, 99. Get that CC building, and it's a three star. Look at that. Crushed base for Arium with the E-Drags. Nicely done. And a 14 star performance for MS Esports to get them the win over 12 stars here. 98.6%. 89.4.